Hi, it's me. That's Ken. That's me. It's me, Ken. Alright. So, I'm kind of going to give an update here for a moment, but then I'm going to move on to the important part. Um, a friend of mine named Jess, who watches my stuff apparently regularly, decided to uh, request something. I know she requested, but she thought it'd be neat for me to do a meatloaf kind of vid karaoke kind of thing from what she mentioned. So I'm going to work on that. I.e. that's why... Oh, wrong way. See? My mic and my... There we go. And Well, that. But anyway, yes, I have been working with my mic and that. And I do plan on having something at some point for you guys. It might be a little bit because I got to figure out how to get my software that I have on the computer here to work with this stuff to work with you guys. You can see me. So it might take a little bit. It's going to take some troubleshooting. And I got to, between my grass mowing and my other stuff, you know, I'm in, I'm in th three different departments at work. So I have to kind of use my time wisely, a.k.a. time management. So I will figure out something. I will get something up for you. Just be patient with me. I'm trying. I have to figure this stuff out. I need tech support. I need, like, a person on the side who just does all that. But I'll figure it out. So, moving along. Yes, I cut grass today. Yes, time to all this moisture falling from the heavens. I got to mow, like, four yards today with my assistant. And she's a bunch of fun. Which brings me up to the cool part. Um... Her and I were discussing, as we always do, talk about all sorts of fun situations and conversation. And get this thing back here. Sorry. Okay. And one of the cool things is we talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. Well, we both have the gift of gap. Yes, I do this a lot because, in fact, okay. Hey, moving on. Um, we were talking. Well, of course. Through all this, I started thinking about my next video, which was today, which is right now. So, the video is, this one's based on my weird stuff. This one is not necessarily the most colorful story, but it's one that's very interesting and people like to hear about. It's split, actually. There's, there's two parts to it. Originally, uh, a while back, when I worked at my first legit job, I guess you want to call it, uh, I worked in a grocery store. Now, this was years ago. Like, 15 years ago? 16 years ago, something like that. And we, I was packing groceries, and we had to do a price check. I was packing. I wasn't doing all that. I was just packing groceries. Lady came through with a box of tampons. They were Tampax pam tampons. Tam packs tam packs. That's a good tongue twister. Anyway, well, of course, we scan it and it didn't want to ring up. So the girl gets on the horn and goes, I need a price check on Tam packs tampons. Well, the guy in the back was hard of hearing or something because he didn't hear her say tampons. He heard Tam packs. But because of our wonderful PA system in the back, it echoes funny. And afterwards, I hear why he did what he did here, which I'm about to tell you about. You know, he misunderstood her for thinking she said tampacks for thumbtacks, unbeknownst to us. So on this thing, rings it up. It doesn't go, you know, the price isn't there. It wasn't ringing up the right price or whatever. She goes, I did a price check on tampacks tampons. He only heard thumbtacks. So all we hear is price check on tampacks tampons. And... He hollers back on it, goes, what kind are they? The ones you push in with your finger or pound in with a hammer? Which, of course, the whole store can hear this, and the poor woman about died of embarrassment. <laughs> I'm, like, standing there and going, the whole store just heard him say, you know, I had a price check on Tampax tampons. What kind are they? The ones you push in with your finger or pound in with a hammer? So, needless to say... We had to work on that, but that was one story of the tampon thing. Now, the story that actually kind of more involves moi. When I worked at a restaurant over by Walmart, it's a interest. It's a restaurant. It's a 24-hour job at the time. I don't think it's 24 hours anymore. I think they they were at one point, and I worked the overnight, and I was the busboy. It was one of my two jobs. In fact, I was working. I've worked two jobs. 
four different times, but now with the company I'm with, I'm in four different departments. So it's like it didn't change, but it did. But anyway, I don't have to keep running from place to place, and everybody's all cool about it. Anyway, so what happens is we're working the overnight, and my mother, she gets these samples in the mail. And it's right whenever the Tampax Pearl tampons comes out. I've never had to use one down there, so I don't know much about this stuff. And she got a sample. So I was at work one night, and my manager, who I won't say her name, but she was she liked talking. We, we goofed off and whatnot. We had fun at night. And she was, like, old enough to be my mother. And she got grossed out easily. Like, Didn't take much. So I went in, and I always did the bus, ru or the bus run. I always did the bar rush, I should say. After everybody left at 2 o'clock. And those bathrooms were pretty fun sometimes. Those people, would, those drunks would eat these big greasy meals, and they'd go in there, and some of them would decorate with them. Like, it would come back up. Some of them, the alcohol didn't mix with the grease too well. and <laughs> So I got to clean up a lot of that stuff. Anyway, so between bus and tables and doing this, it was a very colorful evening, especially on Fridays and Saturdays. That's generally when I worked. Uh, but that night, I went in with this tampon that was in that little nice sleeve that's supposed to be there. And she was checking out drunks. They were like, she was cashing them out and signing their cards and signing everything, you know. And I took this thing, soaked it in Tabasco sauce. Have you ever seen a tampon blow up? Those things like, <sighs> they're like, you know what But you put water and they, <clears throat> I mean, it's like, I mean, those things are like a deck of cards. They're huge. I didn't know they got that big. Anyway, I went in with this tampon, soaked in Tabasco sauce. I go into the women's bathroom, which is right around the corner from where she was at. And I'm in there for five minutes or whatever, you know. And I come out with it. And I'm holding it by the string, and I'm like, hey. And she looks over, and all these drunks are right there, you know. She went, what? I'm like, what is this thing? And she goes, that's a damn pot. And I went, a what? <laughs> Smelled it. I put it in my mouth, and I <laughs> clamped down on it. The Tabasco sauce burnt, but it ran down my cheek, ran off my chin, and these drunks are going, oh, dude, 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 dude. oh, that's disgusting. Think about that, okay? So she got, she stood, I mind you, I went, and it's running down, and she freezes. The woman turned to ice, and she went, and I'm not kidding you, sheer terror came over her face, like the blood just drained from her face. She walks away from the register, she goes out, and she basically clocked out and left and took off two days of work. And after that, every time she's seen me in the last eight, ten years, Every time she sees me, it's that I'm nothing but a damned hog. That's all she can say to me. So, but those of you that know me and know that one funny part about this is, it's me. And I walk out, go, what is this? <laughs> and just, oh, the reactions I got were hysterical. But yeah, I, those are my tampon stories. So, and I'm sure another one's going to come up at some point. I'm trying to think of anything other. I mean, I know guys that get like, the other ones, they're like little mattresses. <laughs> you know, the with wings. You know, they'll strap them to their boots after they've been used. And they will strap them to their boots and walk through the woods and will track deer. I have not had the luxury and the privilege to do so, but... Anyway. Moving along, but I had to just get that out. I was thinking about it at work today. I'm like, I'll have to go home and talk about the damn bomb story. So there. There's that one for you guys. So anyway, uh, let me know what you think. Enjoy. And remember, it's just me. So. Oh, by the way, the sun's out. I could get grass today. No more rain was blowing. I, I'm lying. It sprinkled a little bit. But then the sun oh, came out. So. Now, peeps. That's what I'm going to call you guys from now on is my peeps. So get used to it. Okay? Cool. I am going to strap on my 40 pound weighted vest, my sweatsuit, and I'm going to power walk all around my neighborhood. That's what I do, and I don't have nothing else to do at night. So, anyone, we're about 10 minutes now. Okay, cool. Alright, guys. Later. See you. Keep rocking!